land for sale in Wesley Chapel, NC. North Carolina has a Wesley Chapel to Florida, right on the south side of Charlotte and kind of southeast. I live very close, really Waxhaw, Wesley Chapel area. And my wife discovered this beautiful tract of land driving right down Underwood Road here from Waxhaw Indian Trail Road. Now, if you're not from around here, when the Charlotte area names the street Waxhaw Indian Trail Road, you know what that means, right? That means it goes from Waxhaw to Indian Trail. I'm just saying. That's the way it works around here. Uh, and so this beautiful piece of ground, my, look at that. So let me help you buy this. This, this is priced for an estate. It's 14.7 acres. So let me kind of paint a picture. Let me just say that perhaps you are that person that's moving your business to the greater Charlotte area and you want a real showstopper knockout house because you deserve it. That's your station in life. Uh, and, or you're that person that says, Hey, I want to, have a house for my family, but I also want to have a house for my kids and grandkids on the same piece of land. So now maybe you're moving way outside of the greater Charlotte area, you know, down Monroe area, or maybe up on the west side of Lake Norman, Denver area. Maybe you're finding some ground, maybe down in Clover, South Carolina, uh, Lancaster or York counties. But guess what? This is right in town. This is really like South Charlotte. And it's a current school assignments that can change. Wesley Chapel Elementary, I mean, like a mile away. You like to be a mile away from your elementary kids. Uh, Weddington Middle School, Weddington High School, some of the best schools in Union County, which has some of the best schools around. So this is south of Mecklenburg, and it's Union County. It's a, if you go down this road right here, Waxhaw Indian Trail, I call it Wit Road. Waxhaw Indian Trail, you're like a mile, a little over a mile away from that Target. Plenty of great restaurants. Uh, I mean, great area. I live not that far. My wife on the way home found this 14.7 acres. Now, if you're that person that needs a large estate and you can afford it, the price of the land, it ain't cheap, baby. But it's 14.7 uh, acres as well. So what you want to do if you don't have a real estate agent I've given you enough that your agent could find it. If you, But if you don't have one, we would like to guide you in that process. Again, here we come right off of Waxhaw Indian Trail. That's Underwood Road right there at 14.7 acres. There's a sign, but look at it. See, I'm the first guy that's told you about it like this. We'd love to be your buyer agent. My team, we specialize in helping buyers uh, move, typically relocation people. But we can help you sell your house and move up to this. Um, my thought is... Maybe you carve out a little uh, piece of this woods and you put a second house there. So maybe one of you is living back here. There's a pond right there. Uh, and one of you is living maybe up here or maybe not. Maybe your kids are already in the Weddington Middle School, Weddington High School. You want to be nearby. Uh, and so you're ready to build your killer house. Notice they've already kind of dug out a basement. So we would want to get the backstory for you about why somebody went this far with building and then they didn't uh, pull the trigger. Could be any number of life changes, who knows? But that's kind of dug out as a basement right there. Doesn't mean you have to use it that way. And typically down here in the South, we don't do dugout basements like we did back in Indiana where I'm from or wherever you're from. Typically, if a, a lot is sloped, we do what we call a walkout basement. A walkout basement to me is awesome because you have light at the rear, you have ventilation, a windows, a door opening, closing, you're going out, enjoying that space. And maybe that could be done here, uh, moving the right amount of dirt. But uh, the cool thing about a walkout basement is that you it's not a dingy, dusty basement. It's nice to have. So maybe this is built with a large basement. Maybe you're going to build a big honker uh, McMansion here and then still grade it to the back there. A lot of things are possible. This neighborhood, Quintessa, is really a luxury gated neighborhood. Very cool, very nice. Now you're going to find some little ranch homes, some little uh, vestiges from the past. But this, wow, 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 wow. So my team could help you find out about the septic and the well and the water and the this and the that. Uh, but there's no HOA here. So for many people, that's remarkable because, hey, maybe you want to be able to park your RV here and be able to just have your own little estate and uh, come and go as you please. Maybe that's the station of life that you're in. It's 1.5 million for 14.7 acres. 
It's zoned R40, and it is definitely gorgeous. Uh, uh, what the listing agent has said, public record, that it's ready for your custom estate. Basement side is dug, ready to go. Uh, it's got a, a pond. Uh, it's got privacy all around, an area of pasture for potential animals. So I don't know if that's what they're calling this. Uh, so maybe you're going to have some chickens. Maybe you're at that stage in your life where you're ready to, to do that. So uh, let's just go to the next picture here. Uh, this is it again from the aerial. Let me put myself kind of in position. Yeah, so you've got Quintessa. You've got uh, uh, Underwood Road there and then Whit Road over here. I would love to go shoot a video of this for you, uh, if you like, uh, and really narrow it down for you. Get one of my team, the way it works with me, get one of my team involved to be your buyer agent, to work with you on the deal, work with you to, to locate the correct builder, represent you in that transaction. My people all love new construction. Several of us have sat in a model home. We're experienced with like, for instance, there's a builder here called Classica Homes. They're a luxury custom builder and they have an on your lot division. Maybe you saw that video recently that I shot at another location and you can go into a number of their decorated models and see the fit and finish. Uh, so they're a luxury production builder but they build on your lot. We also have another on your lot builder we like. It's a local uh, builder that's really good at it. And they've built a house kind of like this for a, a kind of a local celebrity on a 19 acre, really lot, not that lot of woods. And they build a really nice custom home for that family. Uh, and so they know that as well. We can take you to some of the high end custom builders, depending on your fit and finish and what your desire. So we'd love to represent you and help you in that part of the transaction because it's nice to have, there are a lot of moving parts. And if you're financing, it's nice to have somebody that understands that whole piece as well. So uh, guys, give me a call, 704-345-3400. If you like my vibe, hit subscribe. That's how you join the tribe. And uh, couple that with a phone call. I'm old school. If you're looking for land for sale in Wesley Chapel with Weddington Schools, Wesley Chapel Elementary, Weddington Middle and Weddington High are the current assignments. Stuff like that can change from time to time. But the sellers have done a lot of site prep, and we should see how your dream home fits into this. And the way we find out is by starting with a phone call, and let's see what we can do and see if there's a fit, if there's chemistry for us to help you. The lot's $1.5 million, the lot. It's land, 14.7 acres. Call me. Love to help you with it. Everything begins with a phone call. We'll see you in the next video.